people still refer to architectural or technical drawings as blueprints. That's because 150 years ago, drawings done with ink were set on photosensitive paper and exposed to light. The result was that the paper turned blue and the areas with ink turned white. One of the interesting things about the Colosseum in Rome is that it was designed to incorporate three architectural orders on the facade. The first floor includes the Tuscan, the second floor is the Ionic, the third is Corinthian, and the attic includes Corinthian pilasters. Louis Kahn designed the Margaret Escherich House in Philadelphia, finished in 1961. The modern house has a clever system of fixed windows and operable outswing shutter openings that, when open, unite the interior with its surroundings. Bernard Maybeck designed the Palace of Fine Arts for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition in San Francisco. The central classical rotunda is over 13 stories tall. It was rebuilt in 1965. Clay and mud tile was first used thousands of years ago in Mesopotamia and India. Today, tile is made of ceramic, stone, glass, and more, and it's used in the same ancient ways as decoration and waterproof veneer on floors, walls, and roofs. Peter Harrison designed the Redwood Library in Newport, Rhode Island, built in 1750. This unique structure was the first neoclassical building in America. The original portion of the building is also wood veneer carved to look like stone. Architect Bruce Graham and structural engineer Fosler Kahn of Skidmore, Owings and Merrill designed the John Hancock Center in Chicago. The building is essentially a massive steel X-braced truss or tube that supports an interior floor system. <music>